Hey, what is up guys? This is Prith for your Leaving Games, and uh, today I'm bringing you a video on a pretty relatively easy strat to get to a high round on the map, The Giant. Now, currently The Giant's only available for Season Pass holders or people that bought the special editions of the game, but I'm sure it'll be available soon for everybody else for like $5 or something like that. So, um, this video is going to be about an easy tutorial um, or a strategy to get to a pretty decent round on this map. And it really isn't a very complicated strategy whatsoever. Essentially, all you have to do is camp up on this catwalk right here. Now, camping up on the catwalk normally with just like a normal pack of punch gun will last you to leave at around 30, but what makes this shot really useful is having the turned perk on your weapon. So, in Black Ops 3, what you can do is if you pack a punch gun more than once, um, the second, third, fourth, etc. time will give you a random perk. And there's several different perks it'll give you on your gun and uh, um, a specific type of damage. The best two are Blast Furnace and Turn. Um, here I'm using the Turn Furnace because that's what's most useful when you're camping. If you're running trains, I would suggest using the Blast Furnace perk because what the Blast Furnace perk does is that um, it basically sets all the zombies on fire and kills them instantly. Well, what the Turn perk does, as you're seeing in the gameplay behind you, is it turns one of the zombies into um, a friendly and the zombie goes and kills people. Now, that's super useful for when you're doing the strategy up here because you're just sitting in a corner here and if you have a zombie that's running at the um, zombies, but the other zombies will be relatively helpful because it, it'll help kill the zombies and lighten the load for what you actually have to kill. And just sitting up here, you can normally survive up to like round 50 or so, just sitting in this corner, just having two pack punch guns. I would suggest having two wall guns and having the turret buck on them. All you have to do is just shoot a few zombies in the head, and one of them will turn into a uh, turn zombie. Now, normally the turn zombie, because you're in such a narrow corridor, well, sometimes it'll jump down there like you saw right there. Other times it'll just stand in front of you and just block the other zombies from hitting you. And which is also super useful, so you can just keep on shooting them while the other zombie blocks them. Um, one thing to note about the strategy though, is that dogs will not be killed by the turn zombie. You have to kill those by yourself. And uh, if you ever do get overrun doing this strategy, which you will eventually, you can drop down, as you saw me drop down right there, and you can run this really small train right here. It's a pretty easy train, and um, you basically have to do the same thing, just shoot a you don't have to shoot that many shots at all, shoot like two or three shots, and, or a few shots, and one of the zombies will become turned, and that one turned zombie will kill the, basically the entire horde, as you're seeing right here. The turned zombie is just killing everything. And so, uh, the strategy is actually relatively easy, it's just when you get to the higher rounds, you might find the need to train, but by that time, you'll be at least round 50, and you should be good. And as you're seeing right here is the reason why you want to have wall weapons as your two weapons because you can just um, buy ammo whenever you need to. And you're going to be running out of ammo a lot when you're doing this strategy. And um, yeah, so uh, that's pretty much the strategy. And another thing is to note about this is you want to be going for headshots because headshots kill them the fastest with these weapons. And you also earn the most uh, zombies XP from doing this. So you can actually get like, if you make it around 50 or so, you can get a, like a good 5 or 6 levels from this. Which is super useful if you're trying to prestige in zombies or even unlock attachments for weapons. This is a really effective way to use it because the headshots earn more weapon XP. And uh, you can unlock these attachments. Like right here on this um, Vesper, as you're seeing right here, I have um, attachments like Rapid Fire, Fast Mags, um, I think uh, I have Red, I have Elo Sight on there. And um, these attachments are super useful because they basically substitute for other perks. Like I don't even need to have Double Tap or Speed Coal on the weapon because I already have the Rapid Fire and the Fast Mags. But having those two perks makes the gun shoot even faster and reload even faster. Like um, you're probably gonna see right here in a second here. They can just watch how fast this weapon reloads. It's just in basically instant. So having these types of perks and leveling up the weapons is also super useful as well. And um, basically the strat is really easy. You can level up quite a bit doing this, and um, you can make it to a pretty good, high, pretty decent round. If you're playing with a friend, it's a little bit easier too because you don't have to just rely on yourself you, in case you might run out of ammo. You can have a friend there with you that also has plenty of ammo. Now when you're doing this strat, I would not suggest having an LMG because although LMGs have more ammo, it also takes forever to reload which might um, hinder you later on in the higher rounds and you need to reload right away. So I would just stick to uh, the wall weapons as you can see here. So um, yeah, that's pretty much it for the strategy. Uh, leave a comment down below if you like um, these types of videos. If you do, then um, I'll probably be posting more of these zombie tips videos. Um, uh, so yeah. Thanks for watching, uh, make sure you like the video if you enjoyed it, and subscribe for more content. So uh, that's pretty much it, um, and I'll see you guys later. Bye.